Uh, at that time, Somali piracy was raging off the coast of Somalia. They were taking 80 to 90 ships per year, taking 1 million to 10 million in ransom per vessel. And the UAE leadership wanted to do something about it, right? That's a seafaring nation. They depend on trade, Dubai port, and, and exporting their crude. And they wanted to do something in a, in a chance meeting, um, explained what, um, what should happen. And uh, they said, yalla, let's so, go. And so they didn't want me directly involved with it. They just said, kind of lay out the, uh, the, um, the how and why to do this. And the Portland Marine Police Force was built, and that unit went active by early 2012. And you don't hear much about Somali piracy after that. No, you don't. It's funny how that works. Yeah. But it wasn't... Look, the, the, the typical bureaucratic approach was ships chasing pirates all over the Indian Ocean. That's dumb, right? If you have a, if you have a wasp problem in your yard... You find the nest and you deal with the nest. It doesn't take a genius to figure out where the pirates are in Somalia. If you fly along the coast, right, you don't need some KH-11 satellite imagery. You can fly along the coast in a King Air and say, oh, there's six ships anchored down there off this fishing village with no port. Must be pirates, right? And you go after the pirate logistics because when they'd go, out, they'd go to sea and they'd capture a vessel... They'd have to drive it back to the coast, and they'd have to put guards on that boat, and they'd have to sit on it for six months to a year waiting for the ransom to get paid. Another book that I read called The Pirate Coast, which, lay, which laid out the, uh, how the U.S. dealt with the Barbary pirates in Libya in 1804-1805. Same kind of program. <laughs> a, former American, or a former American Army officer, William Eaton, eight Marines, 90 contracted um, mercenaries, French, Greek, and Italian, right? The Marine Corps hymn goes from the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli. There was eight Marines on that deal and 90 contracted mercenaries. And that's what ended piracy for the United States in Libya. In this case, um, a, a contracted police force working with, by, and through the local Somali government, a police force to cut off the pirates' logistics so they couldn't pay feed and resupply their guards and the problem went away so it wasn't a hit squad no okay no, no. in fact it really wasn't that kinetic at all I mean, yeah they were armed i mean logistically it was hard the first mission they had to do was 500 kilometers one way on roads that hadn't been graded or improved in 30 years so it was um it was those kind of challenges to solve and it was it was really south african guys some ex uh, executive outcomes team that came and did it and they built the police force and it worked.